Welcome to NBC's Wildcard Playoff Post Game Show. Here now, Al Michaels. Well, believe it or not, it was nothing, nothing, end of one. It winds up 42 to 21, Kansas City. Mahomes throws for 404. And the players of the game, Patrick with five touchdowns. Kelsey took him a while to get going, but once he did, five catches. A TD and a TD pass, and McKinnon, a great night out of the backfield, both running and receiving. And down on the field, Michelle with Patrick Mahomes. Patrick, congratulations. We saw you get a word with Ben there after the game. What did you say to him? Yeah, I mean, I just I just told him I had so much respect for him. I've watched him growing up, and the way he plays the game, he competes to the very end, and he did that um, this whole entire season, and who knows what the future is, but uh, it was great to, to be here and witness him. And share this field with him on what very well could be his last game. This was a weird first quarter. Nobody scored. You guys finally find the end zone on a on an underhand pass to Jarek McKinnon. What changed for you guys? I think we just we came back with the energy. That first quarter, we were playing tentative uh, started with me um, and um, I think that when we got in that second quarter we kind of got back to who we are and uh, hopefully we keep this momentum going to next week who you are also is a lot of fun plays the touchdown throw to Allegretti and then you had Travis Kelsey throwing a touchdown pass how much of that was a product of where you were at that point in the game how much of it was just this is where we're going. Yeah, the, the one to Allegretti, he's like the fifth option on that play, and they, they, they covered everybody else, and uh, he just popped open, so I threw it to him. Um, but uh, the, the Travis one, uh, we worked all week. Um, it's like going off the, the plays that when he's running down the middle, and he played a little quarterback at Cincinnati, so we give him a chance here and there. Yeah, he did. You're, you're moving on. And Travis had told me this week, it's Super Bowl or bust, and we got to win this thing. There's no, nothing less is acceptable. How do you guys feel about that? Yeah, we keep that mindset. I mean, when you've been to the Super Bowl the last two years, um, and you walk off that field with a loss last year, you want you want to go back and get that revenge and get that win. And so for us, um, we understand it's a hard division. AFC, we've got the Bills coming here this next week, um, and we're going to have to play our best football. And so uh, we're, we're just excited for the journey. Uh, we'll stay with the process, and I'm glad we're playing at Arrowhead uh, next week. We'll be watching. Congrats. Congratulations, Patrick. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Michelle. They will indeed. And don't forget, uh, you can check out the new genre-bending dramedy series, Wolf Like Me, Tyler Fisher, Josh Gad, starring in it, also streaming now. It's the docuseries, Joe Montana, Cool Under Pressure, both only on Peacock. And for more NFL coverage, you can catch Pro Football Talk streaming tomorrow at 7 a.m. And we'll take a look at the playoff brackets, a little preview right after this. Welcome back to NBC's Wild Card Playoff Post Game Show. Well, sometimes you walk off into a gallon sunset. John Elway did, Tate Manning did, and sometimes you you walk out of a visiting stadium on the other end of 42 to 21, but an 18 year career in all likelihood ends tonight in Kansas City for the sure Hall of Famer, Ben Roethlisberger. Divisional playoffs are set. Cincinnati goes to Tennessee. CBS has it. 4.30 Eastern time on Saturday. 49ers go to the Packers on Fox on Saturday night at 8.15. And then Sunday, our gang goes to Tampa, where either the Cardinals or the Rams go there to meet the Bucks at 3 Eastern time. The night game on Sunday is right here at Arrowhead on CBS as Buffalo takes on Kansas City. So first things first, to be determined tomorrow night, Arizona at the Rams. You got, you know, Kyler Murray on one, one end. You got Matthew Stafford with a lot of pressure on the other end. Yeah, and I don't think either one of those teams really finished the year the way that they were hoping going into the playoffs. But for Tampa Bay as well, they've got a ton of injuries to deal with on that football team. So it's going to be a great matchup, and uh, we'll see who gets the next shot. Yeah, and then we go down to Tampa, and of course they looked uh, great today again. Brady. I mean, what do you say at this particular point? It's it's crazy. Yeah, and it's probably even more of a tribute to him that he's doing it without a lot of those weapons. But he, when he gets in that hurry-up offense, it is just tough to stop. He just mentally manipulates you around the field. 
And at age 44, is not slowing down. Well, we'll find out after the Rams take on the Cardinals tomorrow night, and we'll talk to you next week from Tampa on Sunday afternoon. Final score here, 42 to 21, as Kansas City advances, trying to get to a third consecutive Super Bowl. That's the story from Arrowhead Stadium. Our thanks as always, Fred Gadelli, Drew Essicott, down in the truck, our gang upstairs here, Al Michaels, Chris Collinsworth, Michelle DeFoya saying good night from Kansas City. NBC Sports, home of Super Bowl 56. Thanks you for watching this presentation of the National Football League.